It's me, Gmail. So the question is that Philippine or Thailand for study? I have been to both country, Philippine and Thailand. My wife is from Mindanao, Davao, and I also been to Thailand. I mean, if you look just, I mean, from the outside, or if you just want a quick answer, I will say Thailand because Thailand is like, I mean, more like a little more developed. The developed, I'm not talking about Philippine is less developed. I'm talking about that in Thailand. You can easily travel like i mean you can easily travel even go to chiang mai you can easily hop on a train the philippine is very different philippine divided into three like territory like like i mean luzon mindanao and visaya even palawan was considered like a territory now there's a different story so yeah so you you either you have to take a plane or you have to take a boat i mean if you love traveling a lot i mean it's up to you can you easily by the way cebu is super cheap so in my opinion thailand is very easy to travel by train or by bus by road where philippine you require a board it will take days or a plane and if you look at thailand i mean university or something like that they are a little bit like it look a little bit like more advanced compared to philippine but 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 the quality of education in philippine is better the quality of education philippine better the philippine lecturer professor are highly qualified if you want to learn some real material you want to do a bachelor degree maybe on a scholarship or you are looking for a cheap education i mean cheap education i'm talking in compared to usa where in philippines you spend less than twenty thousand dollar for your entire bachelor degree plus your accommodation or you get a scholarship and i think in my opinion like philippines i rank i mean in east asia one of the best education system i'm talking about the university but here's a problem I have seen especially I have seen a lot of students coming from Hindustan uh, Hindustan basically mean that India now here's a problem which no one wanna talk about I'm not racist I'm trying to be honest here when I was in Philippines one thing I noticed that Indians smell a lot this is not my thing this is like even the Filipinos say Indians smell a lot I tried to investigate what is the problem I met some of the Indians I met one Tamil restaurant owner and I asked why Indians smell. He said mostly Indians you encounter are students. I said okay. He said mostly the problem with Philippines is that Philippines is a very hot country. The weather is very hot. Basically in Philippines you sweat a lot. I mean your body sweat a lot. I mean every Filipino sweat, your body sweat a lot, even I sweat. The problem was that most of the Indian students do not take care of personal hygiene maybe they do not have enough money to buy a body set or something like that again it costs money literally it costs money so yeah because of that it get a lot of bad reputation because you understand know, philippine if you travel on a jeepney it's a very tight right you have to like hug each other i mean a jeepney so if your body is smelling you get a bad reputation so, so, so a lot of people assume me i'm an indian or something like that no i'm not an indian so the point i'm trying to make it that it doesn't really matter for which country you are if you are going to become a student in Philippines, please understand the Philippine weather is very hot. Try to respect their culture because Filipino take care. It, I never saw a single Filipino which look like homeless to me. Even the most poor, I mean, Filipinos still like. They take care of the personal hygiene. In Philippines, the most important thing is the personal hygiene. Take shower daily, put some body spray, maybe some baby powder. Just try to stay fresh if you want to become a student. This is the best advice. If your body sweat a lot, then in Thailand the weather is not like a, 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 as brutal, brutal as Philippines. I mean, if your body sweat a lot, if you have a sweating problem and your body odor smell, then you have to take care of your hygienic. Uh, you say, Jimmy, again, you are racist, you are racist. No, I'm not racist. Go to Philippines, sit on a jeepney, which is going to the you know, international university, and you will encounter a lot of Indian students. They do not take care. Indians are telling me this. This is the reason they bring bad reputation to Indians here. Because a lot of Indians do not come from the poor background, they have a scholarship, they do not take care of. Please, I hope this I, I, I answer the question. In my opinion, the quality of education in Philippines is much higher. I, I just love Philippines. It's an amazing country, amazing friendly people. I mean, it's a very diverse also. I mean, if you go to Mindanao, Mindanao just have a bad reputation. In my opinion, Davao is the most safest city in East Asia. Literally, most safest city in East Asia. Much safer than Bangkok. 
yeah that is my opinion subscribe and bye you can check out my channel mba market business africa where i talk about my african business journey and give you tips and tricks on how to start a business in east and west africa and also check out my travel channel outing journal where i love to travel with my wife around the world my wife is diagnosed with the retinal pigmentosa so she is like now 75 percent technically blind but still we are not giving our hope as you can see my wife is half blind you can check out this video also make sure to check out my spider-man review this is outing journal also check out my online travel magazine outing journal where i love to write about travel article travel story for example such as this one I love travel writing I want to become one of the best travel writer out there and I'm also teaching on Skillshare please 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 check out the Skillshare I'm I'm giving you a one month free trial here's my course on Skillshare more courses are upcoming on Skillshare I'm teaching on Skillshare and also check out my courses on Udemy yes my courses on Udemy I have around four courses over 20,000 students most of my courses are going quite well make sure make sure to support me on skillshare and udemy that's all keep going on never stop learning learn until you die